Well, it was an electric stove here. I'm putting gas line in. through here get into this boiler room I got gas right up here see that one inch and that half inch line runs over and it just runs over and it's dead ended over there so I'm just gonna disconnect that tap in over here so I gotta run that line up through I don't want the place to have a shut off. There it goes. jumped up and it ran over it stopped on the other side of the wall here it used to probably go outside her. so what I did was uh, drill a hole through the wall there I'm gonna take this off put a coupling on here and I'm gonna run this over for the stove that's what I'm gonna do I'll disconnect that right there take that teen and elbow out and put a coupling in it and I'll extend this right over and run out for that stove You put a shut off there so I could test it. Once I run my line, I'll put a test on it and uh, set it a coupling. So I ain't gonna test the whole gas, I mean, I'll just test what I do.
couple threads pass is all you want to do. A couple threads pass there. Now if you need a fitting on there, you can put it on right here, on a plate machine. Makes it a lot easier. Guys, I got a couple of hangers here. I wanted to keep it up tight. In my state, we can't put a drip in any cold area. So I'm putting it, I'll put the drip down inside that area over there where it's heated. I got a couple of hangers here. I just use a couple of one inch galvanized clips. Hold it up and be nice. And I come in here, drill, I had to drill a hole through here. I'm gonna put a scutcheon on that. Came in here, offset. I'm gonna put my test on right here. And I'll show you upstairs. There's a shut off. I'm gonna have to come back once electrician comes here. It's gonna be dual fuel. Once electrician comes and does his wiring, I'll come back and hook up the stove. Scutching for that looks better. Going through the wall. Boom. It comes over a couple hangers and going up. It's actually pitching back. So any liquid in the gas line will drain back to the tea. <laughs> 